Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming the best of 2012 tag and I'm really excited to be filming this because I am so excited for 2013 and everything that is to come, like summertime and just IMATS, if you guys are going to IMATS LA, comment down below, I'm going both days, January 20, no, January 19th and January 20th, so I will see y'all there, whoever's going, yes, comment down below if you're going, so yeah. Um, I just wanted to first apologize by saying, um, that I haven't uploaded a video in, like, a week or so, like, maybe almost two weeks, and I'm very, very sorry, I've had such technical difficulties. I hope you have a healthy and happy 2013. And, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to start off by saying thank you so much, Bethany, for tagging me. I um, was getting tweeted and, like, getting comments on Instagram. Oh, my gosh, Maddie, you were tagged by Mac Barrio 7. Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. And I was like, what? And I went and looked, and you tagged me. And I was like, oh, my gosh, yay. So now I have to do this video, and I was planning on doing it anyways, or a video like this, like, favorites of 2012, something like that. So, yes, without further ado... Let us get started. So starting out with the beauty category, number one is your favorite face product of 2012. And mine is the Dermalogica Clean Start Brighten Up SPF 15 Tinted Moisturizer. Um, Clean Start from Dermalogica, well Dermalogica is like a skincare brand, and Clean Start is their brand for teens. And it is literally amazing. This is the only thing I've tried, but I've heard lots of stuff about the other thing. It only comes in one color, which sucks, but it matches like light to medium skin tones. And I feel like it kind of adjusts to your skin and I am literally obsessed with this. It's moisturizing and it gives you such like a small tint and it's brightening to your face and it's just look, it's just amazing. I wear it like all the time. Number two is your favorite cheek product and mine is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And I was going to choose a blush but if you know me I'm obsessed with concealer and blush. Those are my two favorite makeup products of all time and I am like a blush hoarder. So I change blushes a lot and I couldn't pick one so I picked a highlighter and I wear this all the time. I just pop it on my cheekbones and it just looks amazing and if I'm feeling fancy on my cupid's bow and it makes your lips look bigger and this is just like amazing. It makes your skin so glowy. Yeah, any like highlighter is really good for people with dry skin because it's going to give you like a dewy finish. So yes, I love this. Number three is your favorite eye product of 2012 and I picked two because yeah. Um, the first one is Painterly Paint Pot for MAC and this is just like a skin tone colored base and I use this like over my eyeshadow primer. Not all the time but a lot of the time and I've made a big dent in that um, because I have veins on my eyelids. This really helps to cover the veins in my eyes and it, I just love it. Plus it keeps your eyeshadow staying on all day long. And the last eye product is the NARS Silk Road Eyeshadow Duo and now this is like a mess. It's really messy but it just comes like a light golden shade and like a purpley taupey brown shade and these are amazing. They're basically foolproof for anyone that's beginning with makeup or anyone that's not like I love makeup, like I need to have a ton of makeup. This is like perfect for you. It's kind of expensive, but it's going to last you a long time and the colors are amazing. The lighter color you pop on your lid, darker color you pop in your crease, blend it out and it's just beautiful. This is in Silk Road, if I didn't already mention, from NARS. Four is your favorite lip product and of course I had to choose baby lips and I have four here. Let me get them all. Um, yeah, I have three of the limited edition shades and then one permanent one. So this is the Maybelline Baby Lips in Grapevine. And this one smells the best out of all of them to me. This one and then one of the other ones that I'm going to show you. And it smells like Sweet Tarts, which is like my favorite candy ever. These are SPF 20 and they just provide like moisture to your lips and as well as a light tint. And this one doesn't show up like this dark purple on your skin. It's just like a light berry color. And I love it and the next one is coral crush and this one smells like oranges and i love it and like i said it just provides like a sheer corally color like yeah um so you don't have to be like afraid of the shades and then my two favorite of all times are limited edition and i own every baby lips that's ever come out is that sad maybe this one is twinkle which bethany mentioned in hers and I don't know what it smells like, but it smells really good, and it's just like a really sheer pink. It's pretty much just clear. Um, you cannot really see it, and I love this shade. It's like amazing. And then I like this one a lot, and it is Pink Wink. I think this is my favorite one that Baby Lips has ever come out with because it provides like a little bit of a pinky, like light tint to your lips, and it smells like Hubba Bubba um, chewing gum, like 
gum. Hubba Bubba like bubble gum and it smells so good like the one that comes in a little round thing and it's like tape. Oh, it smells phenomenal. Five is your favorite skincare product or products of 2012. So mine has got to be Purity um, Made Simple from Philosophy. It is the one step facial cleanser. This stuff is amazing. Like literally, if you don't really like to spend a lot of money on skincare, I don't really like to spend money on skin, a lot of money on skincare. I buy like drugstore makeup wipes, drugstore exfoliator, um, and yeah, but this is one thing that I have to have and it is so amazing. It cleans your skin. It gets every trace of dirt and makeup off your face. And yeah, I take off my makeup before with a makeup remover wipe and then I wash my face with this and it literally just feels like I am. My skin is new, it's fresh, and I just follow it with a moisturizer and it is so amazing for all skin types. And whether you have oily skin or dry skin or normal skin or combination skin, it is so amazing. And I've gone through like so many of these, it's not even funny. Like, any age that you are, this is amazing. I don't know how much it is, but I love it. Number six is nail polish, and mine, I, I had such a hard time choosing nail polish because in the start of the year, I wasn't really that into nail polish, and if you look at how much nail polish I have now, it's like, how were you not obsessed with nail polish? But I went through my collection, and I stared at it for a long time, and finally decided on this color. And this is Yo Gotta Get This Blue from OPI. And it's just like a royal blue shimmery color with like purpley iridescence and like green iridescence. And it's just beautiful. I feel like you can wear this in any season. You may not think so, but I do. And I, I don't know, I love it so, so, so much. And I wear it all the time. And it's amazing. And yes. Number seven is hair product. And I have two. So first one is the... Organics Nourishing Coconut Milk, Leave-In Nourishing Milk, and it smells so good. Like, I want to bathe in this. It's really good for your hair because it's nor it's organic, sulfate-free, and all natural and everything. So, I am in love with this. It makes your hair so soft. I just apply it when my hair is wet after I've washed it and everything, and it makes it A, smell good, and B, feel soft and just helps with the overall look of your hair, and it's amazing. And you can just buy this at Target for like $5, so it's win-win situation. And the last hair product is the Garnier Fertiste Style Full Control Anti-Humidity Hairspray Ultra Strong Number 4, like that's the volume on it or whatever. And first off, this stuff smells so good, I and mean, you're not supposed to breathe on hairspray, so don't do that at home. But it smells so good, like I just... I. I don't go around like spraying it and inhaling it. It's really bad for you. But um, yeah, this hairspray I've been using since I've like used my own hairspray, I guess. When I was younger and my mom would curl my hair for me, she would use hers, which is like ultra stronghold and it would make your hair like really stiff and gross. But this stuff is amazing. It is like, it helps with static, like static hair. It doesn't, it makes it un, unstatic, I guess, your style all day long and it's not it does not make your hair like sticky or stiff or anything like that so I love this and I need some new hairspray for right there okay number eight is body product slash perfume so mine is the Viva La Juicy it smells so freaking good and I'm almost out of it if you can see and it smells like I don't know I feel like anyone of any age can pretty much wear this I just have such an amazing nose like it smells like a little little praline with some jasmine and some honeysuckle. Oh, I'm just kidding. But I just read the description off Sephora, so it's literally amazing and definitely, definitely try this out. I feel like it could work for day, night, ages, anyone to anyone. Fashion category now. Number nine is clothing piece. And I had a very, 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 very hard time choosing this. But then once I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I wear black leggings all the freaking time. These ones are from Brandy Melville. I haven't had them for that long. I got them for Christmas. But, um, yeah, I literally have had the ones that I have on right now since last year. Um, and I just love black leggings. They go with everything. Um, and I just wear them with, like, sweaters or anything that covers my butt. These are amazing. These ones are really good quality from, um, Brandy Melville. But you can basically find black leggings anywhere. Target, Walmart, everywhere has them and every girl needs them. Number 10 is accessory, and I had a very hard time picking one, and that's why I don't have one. Um, I don't really wear accessories, like I, oh, I have one ring on, but this is new, um, and I don't wear like necklaces. The only thing that I wear is earrings. I basically wear like all 
like these little fake like diamond crystal things like in every ear pretty much so yeah I guess that would be my accessory number 11 is pair of shoes and I actually have two because um, I couldn't choose first is my Steve Madden Troopaboo and this is in black I've had these for over two years and that's crazy and they're still holding up amazingly and I didn't like jump on the YouTube band bandwagon with these because I've had them for two years when I first bought them that's when combat like that's when I first ever saw combat boots and um, I had never seen anyone on YouTube talk about these ever and I got them and then like recently I just feel like everyone's gotten them not because of me like not because of me in any way but just like everyone has gotten them and I've had them for like two years and I'm literally obsessed with them like the leather on them is so soft and worn in and I have to get the zipper replaced soon because every time I wear them the zipper literally unzips to like here because it's so worn down and stuff. It's there like a hundred dollars but they're so worth it literally you get your money's worth of them and of course just Converse these are amazing I wear these all the time and they are pretty worn in like if you can see the toe like the top of it is really worn and they're pretty clean because I just cleaned them but they're really faded and old and they're literally the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn in my life because they're so worn in and I wear them all the time and I love Converse because if you have a super narrow foot like I do like I have a tiny tiny little skinny foot and Converse are like a lot narrower and Vans have really like wide they're like a really wide sole so if you have like wider feet then Vans are awesome but if you have skinnier feet or narrow feet like I do Converse really work well for you and they're a lot more comfortable and stuff so yes now on to random so number 12 is favorite TV show or movie so like I'm gonna name my TV shows first Gossip Girl, Vampire Diaries, and Dance Moms. Probably out of all of them, Gossip Girl is my favorite. I am like obsessed with that show. I'm on season 5, like on Netflix, and season 6 is like, I don't know if it's ended already or whatever, but I bought it on iTunes, so I just have to like wait until my computer gets fixed, and then I can watch it once I finish season 5, and I'm just like obsessed with Gossip Girl. If you haven't seen it, you seriously need to watch it like... OMG, like I'm obsessed. And then my favorite movie, probably Pitch Perfect. I've seen it like three times since it came out like in theaters and DVD. So I like love that movie. It's hilarious. Number 13 is favorite book. And if I had to choose one, it'd be The Perks of Being a Wallflower, even though I haven't finished the whole book. 14 is food. And I really couldn't decide what to say for this because like I think about how much food you eat in a year. A year is 365 days, and you basically have like three meals a day plus snacks and everything. So that is a heck lot of food. Like, I could not choose one. 15 is favorite beverage, and that would have to be Starbucks iced chai lattes. They're so amazing. Like, I'm obsessed with them, and you need to try one. And then also water. I've been trying to stray away from soda and just drink water and, like, milk and stuff. Like, I basically drink water and milk in, like, a normal day, I guess. And I'll, on occasion, I'll have soda, but my New Year's resolution is to only drink water this year, like, in milk, water and milk and juice and stuff, but no, no soda. And I'm going to start that, like, tomorrow because I have drinking soda this new year so far. And I'm going to start that tomorrow. So, so I'll keep you guys updated on, like, Twitter and stuff. So follow me on Twitter, Instagram, down below. Okay, and number 16 is favorite song. So this was really hard for me to choose as well. But Call Me Maybe, the whole Maroon 5 album. My mom has it in her car and we listen to it, like, every day. Um, and it came out this year and it's just amazing. I love Maroon 5 and... I I just, words can't describe it. And also Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran is my life. If you know me, if you follow me on Instagram, my bio is Ed Sheeran in food. That's literally my life, like food and Ed Sheeran. That's all I need and YouTube. <laughs> so I'm just going to tell you my favorite songs off the album. Lego House, Small Bump, Gimme Love, Autumn Leaves, Drunk, and 18. I just love the whole album. If you haven't heard Ed Sheeran music, where have you been all your life? Seriously. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have a best of 2012 tag or like top 12 of 2012 or any favorites video of the year, post it as a video response down below and I will be sure to watch it. And if you don't make videos, you can just comment down below. And yeah. Also, comment down below if you want to see a How to Style Doc Martens video because I really want to do that because I got Doc Martens for Christmas. And yes, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!